Good morning, this is First Ward Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penderson. Kind of a gray, drizzly, just misty day. Kind of day you want to just take a nap, honestly. Drink some coffee, maybe hang out inside all day. It's going to be that kind of day. We've got waves of light, moderate rain moving across here. Occasionally you get a pocket of some heavier rain rotating through. But look at those temperatures. Only upper 40s and low 50s. The low pressure causing us is still down there in Louisiana. And as we go through the day, we might actually see some heavier downpours start to rotate through the area. Let me show you some of the model data because what's interesting tomorrow, um, and really let's back this up a little bit, as the low gets closer tonight, we're going to see these waves of rain. But tomorrow, enough instability or heat could get up here that we're going to see some pretty good showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder, possibility a couple isolated strong storms. Um, this is going towards tomorrow morning. You see this band of showers and possibly thunderstorms. So let me show you a little interesting feature here. This is the future radar, but let's look at future wind at about 5,000 feet. We call this the low-level jet. Look at that pocket of very strong winds coming up into the mountains. And anywhere you see the reds, that corresponds to about 50 knots, which is closer to 60 miles an hour at 5,000 feet, mind you. Now remember, the Mali's mountains go up to 6,000 feet, so the mountains are going to see some very gusty winds, and any thunderstorms that can develop could mix those winds down to the surface this low level jet we call it is right over us mid-morning tomorrow 10 11 uh, o'clock in the morning and when you look at the radar underneath that you can see the, the showers and storms that'll be underneath that the thing that we need to watch is how much warm air will move in from the coast you can see there's 60s and 70s getting all the way to charlotte where that cold wedge is still trapped against the mountain so if that erodes we call it or we get some warm air in here the potential mid-morning tomorrow for maybe some strong thunderstorms right in there is something we're going to have to watch. You look at the Cape values, you can see a little bit of Cape gets up in here. This is Cape or thunderstorm fuel, if you if you will, that's up in this region. And lots of wind shear. Look at the wind shear. This is off the charts, really high wind shear. And this is one of those things you watch for this time of year. We call them high shear, low Cape events, where you got a lot of wind energy. You just don't have enough surface-based lift or instability to tap into it. And it won't take much. So tomorrow, we get a little bit of Cape right there. And these storms that are moving over the area could be strong or severe. I'll be watching this throughout the afternoon and as we get closer tomorrow. The big story today though, I'll turn the radar back on because this is going to tell you everything you need to know. Cloudy, gray, and cold. We'll keep an eye on as we go into the evening hours. Catch me today at 4, 5, and 6 on NBC Charlotte and always on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at WXBread. I'll see you at 4 o'clock.